Hi, this is Dan Fleming from Dan's Mark Software Solutions. This is the second demo in the set for Dan's Mark Software Solutions Vector Image Machine service. We've already converted the data for this stair into multiple sets. We're going to open up those sets and put those files, uh, basically build this stair uh, in pieces. So we're going to add more data and we're going to find new images to add to this one. Well basically this is just a stringer. Uh, the implications of what I'm showing you is that now you could resize that stringer. You could make the stringer uh, thicker or thinner. Uh, you know you can make the landings longer. Uh, you can change the height and the angle of the vector images. I mean there's a lot of you can do. I mean basically uh, your your limit is your imagination. We're going to go ahead and add another one. We're going to go ahead and put in the bottom tread. Now notice it put the bottom tread in and now we're going to put in the tread bottom. That's the rest of the treads. Normally what you would do is take that first tread and copy that tread moving it up just like you would when you drew it in a, uh, a rise and a run. But I went ahead and copied those very quickly because we don't have time to go into all that. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do tread number two that's the top tread over here and then we're going to add the rest of the tread to the image. Now we're going to come back and do the the stair bottom clip which is at the very bottom and we're going to add uh, the landing front which is the very first uh, Z direction part of the landing channel and complete with clip and then we'll do the landing back which is the other side of it. Also we're going to uh, do the landing middle which is the middle part of that landing. Uh, you know you could set it up to where you could do it uh, running them in the XY plane or in the Z plane as indicated in this particular image. Uh, the sky's the limit. We're going to go ahead and do front number two, which is up here where my cursor was at. And then we'll do front back number two, which is back up to the very top. And finally, we'll go ahead and do the middle number two. So basically, we've drawn our drawing. Uh, if the image were the same ratio in the X and Y as it should be, then you wouldn't get oblong uh, vector in the X direction. So basically the vector data is drawn to the image. So it's going to fill up the whole image. Uh, you know, there is a, there's ways that you can compensate for that. In other words, you could make the, the stair smaller. You could do a stair on one side, a plan view on the other. I mean, you know, basically the sky's the limit. My suggestion is do parts of it like I've done it, manipulate them, and you know, as the data changes in your dialog, so the data changes in uh, in your drawing. So we're going to that's not going to work because they're not all in one data set. Uh, we could basically control the center, the size, the rotation. Uh, the way that I normally do this is as I add these images I hit finish and it adds it to a master data set which I did not do each time so they're still individual data sets and it only read the last one. But if I add the, the image and hit finish it adds it to a master data set and now you can rotate the whole master data set, resize it, rotate it, uh, move the center around, 
you know, do anything you want to with it then. So if I have more interest, I'll do more. Uh, if you want any more information, contact Dan Fleming at Dansmark Software Solutions. That's dan at dansmark.com. Thanks.